makamu rais mimi nataka kutoa shukurani kwa wale wote ambao walinena we have had a very candid discussion and from that discussion it is clear kila kitu iko wazi all the issues are known they are clear who needs to do what all we need to agree is why they are not doing it and how they must do what they need to do it is very clear na viongozi asanti ile wasasi nilikuwa nayo ya kwamba hamuhusiki nimemmsikiza i like your passion and you are also very detailed you actually know the problem labla hamjafika kutuambia and i think uh, listening to the leaders here i think i need a sitting with the political leaders from the coast we get more details ile atuwezi tangaza hapa si ndio so let me arrange quickly we have a sitting you have a story and a good one but i have confirmed that you are committed and i think now it will work by the way police hawa na administration wanaweza fanya kazi yote lakini without the leaders it will not succeed because we also need somebody to give us a feedback on what is happening and somebody who genuinely cares for the people you know when captain reader says that there is only one dci in lamu east and he is drunk that must be the truth awesi danganyana that's a responsible leader so i don't know ccio lamu uko hapa where is the ccio lamu is he here are you aware of that situation are you aware of it kwani unakaa wapi wewe uikae lamu you have been there for a week or oh, one week Ah okay so can you find out huyu ni kiongozi and i think there is no leader amechaguliwa na watu anaweza sema kitu kama hiyo kama hakuna but you have been there for a week please deal with it tafadhali ah uh, i think we'll meet the political leaders for another discussion nakada you have had your report is shallow this yao ni viongozi you know these leaders are very important because they know they know the villages wanajua and that's why an engagement with the leaders is very important so wewe umesikia report yako nyinyi ni watu ya ofisi na OCS mwingine hapa mama amesema vizuri sana i like that OCS amesema mambo ni ground i like that OCS anasema mambo ni ground wewe nakada twende kwa ground you are report is shallow my friend yeah it is shallow it is not capturing the magnitude of the problem it is, it is full of statistics with no details tumekubaliana i asante i think it is clear in this meeting our officers you have heard in daylight the problem by and large is enforcement 80% of our problem is enforcement So let us agree the following that we cannot continue discussing something that is so clear and everybody knows what to do easy madawa wenye kuuza mnajua pahali zinapitia mnajua vile zinauzwa mnajua so let us work on it Uh, and uh, tunataka kusikia ya kwamba kasi imefanyika let me confirm for the avoiders of doubt the issues of orders from above and telephone calls added on 13th September 2022 at It's uh, 1, 1 p.m. and 48 minutes when President William Ruto was sworn in as the president. Hiyo maneno ilifika mwisho. 1:48 p.m. when he took the Bible. Hiyo maneno ya watu kupigia watu masimu ati madawa iendelee 
ya kulevya ati mtu waachiliwe so bwana regional cio we have a conversation with you we would like to know vile ig amesema ati unasema ushiki watu ati umepigiwa simu i want to confirm that president william ruto cannot make such a call he cannot if william ruto is to make any call ni kuuliza kwa nini hii watu wakamatwe and he has not even made that one i cannot make such a call professor kindiki has not made and cannot make such a call the ig here has not made such a call i am sure i am 100% certain our dci i mean is one of the most pragmatic officers in our government cannot make such a call so tutaenda nyuma ya hema tukimaliza hapa utatuambia si iko namna hiyo we want to know i want to say this war i am not leading this is not my war mimi ni mtu ya mkono ya rais william ruto na ndiye alinipatia hii kazi because he cannot agree that we lose an entire generation when we have a government in place in fact he is so concerned about this region that last week saida to the irisha alinipigia simu nikuniuliza ni kwa nini tubairisha nikamwambia iko mambo ya red eye akasema hata kama iko tuendelee nikamwambia tu waache wiki moja nimeambiwa itakuwa imeisha the commitment of this administration to eradicating crime and other social vices is unparalleled in the history of independent kenya and i want to say if you want to know the commitment of this administration follow kazi ya professor kidura kendiki just follow what he does on a daily basis the level of commitment is unquestionable you cannot even question whether this administration has that commitment so mambo ati kuna watu watapiga simu kama hizo simu ndizo zilikuwa zinakusumbua sasa ufanye kazi yako hakuna simu nime confirm president has not called i have not called professor kidiki has not called IG has not called if Amin has called you'll tell us because the rest of us are here and I can speak for the president if that was a problem that is why there is drugs menace in the coast then the solution has been found sasa wewe ufanye kazi yako and i want to tell the regional security team wako wapi the regional team madam eh, RC na wengine we cannot accept this situation no it's not acceptable Hakuna hatu wezi kubali. Sasa kwani ni kazi gani sisi tunafanya? Hii watu wanajulikana, bali wanauza wanajulikana. Nyinyi mufanye kazi yenu. I think within two weeks RC you must get rid of this problem. Tunataka kusikia watu kotini. Please, can you do your job? Tafadhali mufanye kazi yenu. Wacha tuheshimiane, tafadhali. Kila mtu afanye kazi yake. Nyinyi muko na mshahara, sisi tuko na mshahara. Kila mtu wako na mshahara. Kila mtu afanye kazi yake. Please, please sit down. And I want to say ODPP I'm happy with the commitment that you have given. I I think arising out of our meeting I'm so happy that you had a further meeting to agree because there was a problem in the office of the uh, the, the director of public prosecution. So if what you have told us here is what you have agreed then I'm very happy. Sasa kila mtu afanye kazi yake. Let me say commanders please let's do the work we need to do. Tumesikia viongozi hapa wanalia you are sleeping on the job sasa mambo ya odpp we are fixed please do what you need to do you know your work muko na vitabu yote tatu ya kufanya kazi muko na pen code cap 63 si ndio muko na cpc cap 75 muko na evidence act cap 80 muko na uniform muko na mshahara What is the problem? What is the problem? Mfanye kazi yenu. Where are the security team for Kisauni and Likoni? Kisauni and Likoni, where are the teams, the two teams? How do you tell us good people that vijana wanakatakata watu na mapanga Kisauni na Likoni? How do you explain that to anybody here? How do you explain that to the inspector general of police? How do you explain to the interior minister 
Dati vijana wanakatakata watu na mapanga na nyinyi mko pale. You have no explanation. There is no explanation you can give to excuse. So please your teams tukitoka hapa you go and meet and draw an operation plan and work on those gangs and make sure that no gangs can disturb the people of Kisauni and Likoni. It is unacceptable. We have a government in place. You are there. Serikali imempatia kazi muko na mshahara. Muko na officers under you. What explanation can you give to the nation? Hata hivi viongozi mtatuambia nini? It is not possible. Please sit down and go and do your work. Muende mfanye kazi yenu. Kila mtu afanye kazi yake. Watu ya Pharmacy and Poisons Board, please we have a meeting I think end of the week or early next week ile tulikubaliana map all the licensed outlets utupatie we shall close the rest for you and they will remain permanently closed sisi tumeamua sasa mchezo tatutaki wewe within by before our meeting map for us the licensed chemists and pharmacies per sub county per town you will give that to PS Omolo. Once we know them, we'll give them to our team. These are the licensed ones. Any other outlet will be shut and shut down permanently. And if it reopens, somebody must lose his or her job the same day. You know, we are tired. How do we have illegal outlets all over the country that we have officers? But let us work together. Give us the list of the licensed ones so that we map out the licensed ones to see where can But again, even the licensed ones, the way we discussed, you know, they are also dispensing drugs that are supposed to be dispensed when they are prescribed and they are selling them over the counter. So, as we help you to shut down the illegal ones, can you work on the licensed ones? Can you have inspection? And our officers here will support you. Our teams, we shall give instructions when we meet. Professor Kedika Tapeana, you will get all the support that you need to inspect the, the proper ones to make sure they are doing the right thing. Again, the lady from the veterinary board also do the same. Map for us, the licensed uh, agrovets and other establishments. The ones that are illegal, we will shut them down for you. Tutafunga sote. Kuna kitu watikubu hapa, ile kazi tafanyika hii Kenya, in the next two weeks, itakuwa ni kazi. We'll shut them down. So you map the one for us, the license one, then we can proceed. Uh, National Government Administration. It is true, C.S. Machogu, you are right. In my earlier life, I was in that system of government. And things were working. The police station is 40, 50, 60 kilometers away from where we are in The chiefs, the DOs, the DCs had support of APs. And they were able to deal with the crime before it degenerated into something big. Because they had some form of enforcement. So with the new constitution, the National Police Service came there, the Inspector General of Police, how officers were and to a large extent, it is that decision is responsible for the breakdown of the security architecture in this country. And actually, the effects we are feeling of almost things getting out of order is because the deterrent aspect of security architecture got removed when our GAO officers lacked support. So the task force that was set up by the president has recommended that we create an administrative framework where the GAO officers are supported by officers in uniform. I think in the next one or two months, everything will have been worked out. Our CS interior is on it. And our GAO officers will have support the way it used to be. So that the people at the police station can deal with apprehending the offenders. But we have some other officers working with the chief, with the ACC, with the DCC, on deterrence and prevention. Because also, people, while they were in Chipia, 
wakiona chifu wako tu peke yake hakuna kitu naweza kufanya inakuwa tu namna hiyo they just ignore him so the chiefs lack authority the ACC lack authority we are going to reestate that authority but we'll work on the mechanism but administratively so that our guard officers once more are supported by officers who are armed who are in uniform i don't think we need to arm chiefs it is not necessary at this stage we'll give them officers to work with them because it has worked before and some of us bear testimony because we were there and we saw it work and crime was contained to a certain level most of these things you see even murder they start on a family dispute and because there is no deterrence in the when the officers the chiefs had the APs there it was working so that one we are going to address na tukubaliane mambo ya rehabilitation centers it is true i think we want to engage the governors when they come for the next meeting for ibec we see with the ministry of health whether we can dedicate a ward in every level for hospital specifically for rehabilitation of drug addicts and then as a national government will consider whether we can partner with the county governments and we can put some money as a conditional grant so that we create a capacity in every uh, level four hospital we have a ward just like the ones we have for border border operators we have one ward specifically dealing with uh, addicts uh, i think uh, captain reda meongea they need more women officers i think that is something the people at lam county you can discuss i agree because as a wale mkina mama wa islam uwezi kuzawa sasa ukipata mwanaume anaweka ile buibui anasema yeye ni mama uwezi kuza anabeba madawa people are very imaginative you know so i think it's something it's a local problem but i think mheshimiwa will ask you to engage with the local team you work around it but your request is is quite reasonable it, it sounds uh, it sounds uh, quite uh, quite reasonable uh mambo ya officers of our state IG we discuss this matter at the National Security Council and instructions were issued somehow we have not complied so we'll have a discussion with you and uh, professor Kindiki because it is a problem that has been agreed everywhere officers wanaka wanaoa huko wanafugua ba wanakuwa wasee ya mtaa they cannot deal with the crime si ndio wanakuwa wenyeji so we agreed at the national security council that three years wasonge will agree with the ig because that must be implemented because it will solve a lot of our problems because again even when we let ucs mpya unakuta maofisa wamekaa hapo miaka 8 miaka 10 wajuaji wanasema tumeona maofisa yesu wengi wakija hata wewe utatuacha tu hapa that is what they say we know and some constables and those corporals they need vichwa ngumu and they are an institution is that true officers yeah i know wana kuwa pale they even transfer us yes is wako na sis wako na misisi siju inatokanga wapi we are going to approve all of them what they want to and that is something ig we must do because it's a good policy and it will enable the station commanders to take charge so that they are not uh, prisoners of their own juniors who have been there for a long time uh let me talk about the legal amendments we need to do mweshimiwa we have told kimani chongwa we want it to be a government bill the oisonge kamarisasi there are many changes we want to do one of them we are going to talk to the governors here na tutakubaliana governors wakubali nakada and national government to license how wachukue revenue watumie hatusemi pesa ni yao si ndio pesa mchukue lakini we license and the governor tutakuwa pia tumesaidia nyinyi most of these bar operators are also very serious political operatives ukinyimba yeye license anaanza kukulima so tunataka tuondole nyinyi hiyo msigo and because these bars and the activities are posing a threat to national security we can no longer leave that function to the county governments we'll amend the law and we return that function to the national government but the county governments once the license has been done mnapatiwa list mnachukua pesa yenu mnaenda pale mnataka kwenda 
Sio tumekubaliana. Lakini licensing hiyo lazima tuondoe kwenu. Sasa kama hiyo mnasema una apply online. You don't know where the buy is. Hakuna mtu ametembea hapo. Buy na kuwa is next to the school. And let me say this, we still have a national law. The national law is superior to the county laws. Where the two conflict, the national law prevails to the extent of that conflict. We are saying all licenses that have been issued contrary to the law are invalid. They are null and void. And to Kikutana next week, to Tanza Kusimanya Kazi. Ata kama umepeana license governor next to a school, and the national law says there should be no license so many meters from the school, we'll shut it down and we'll consider that, that uh, license to be null and void because it's in contravention of the law. So, sisi yo tumelala kidogo, sasa tumeyamuka. Tumeyamuka kwa sababu tumeona hii inchi itaangamia. Magaba na wakitafuta pesa, inchi itaisha. Sasa hiyo barabara mukijega, nani atatebea juu yake. Hii ma license unless you build more mocharies with that money. Because sasa, if you license everybody, sasa I have found in some shopping centers, iko na buildings kumi, nane ni ba. Moja ni hoteli na moja ni duka. So how? But governors are just licensing because they need revenue. So there must be some balance between revenue collection and national security and the welfare of the Kenyan people. Finally, mimi nataka OCS wale wako hapa msimame. OCS is Officer Commanding Police Station. I want to address you. I served in the security sector for 15 years. My understanding of this country's security architecture is that the OCS is the central person. At the regional commissioner, I'm a regional police commander who actually a mutu last month and now CS through a force. A police station is as good as a station commander. A police station is as efficient as the station commander. A police station has integrity as good as that of the station commander. A police station is as rotten as a this station is as corrupt as a station commander. The life of our police station revolves around the station commander. If the station commander doesn't want corruption, there will be no corruption in that station. If the station commander wants to follow the law, everybody else will follow the law. So, ile watu tutamulika tukituma watu nyumbani are the station commanders. Because that is where it, it begins and that's where it ends. And there is nobody who can tell a station commander anything provided an afuata sharia. So me naomba nyinyi dada zangu na ndugu zangu. Please do your job. And I agree those who do well will promote them as well. Let us not just punish those who don't do the right thing. Station commanders, please do your job. Na ukiambiwa wachilie mtu kama huyu anasema anapigiwa simu useme hakuna useme uandikiwe in writing Tell somebody to write you a signal if a crime has been committed you have booked somebody in custody aende kotini upigiwe simu na sub county commander ama region wakwambie ati hiyo mtu aende nyumbani na we unajua kabisa amefanya makosa mwambie afande ni sawa niandikie kitu kidogo tu kachita small cheat tu afande muongeleze tu in a, in a nice way afande ni ondikie kitu kidogo tu they are not right. I'm going to take a signal. There is nobody who writes a signal asking you to release anybody. What I could be a simu or to say, dear, who you also call it because Kikumana to Taulisa Nini to Makubaliana. Please sit down and I wish you well. With those very remarks, let me say thank you very much. The MPs and the senators and the governors, I'll look for you. It was a wonderful discussion. Asante Nisana, Mungu Abariki, thank you.